Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear. We're looking at more scopes and sights today. Aim Sports scopes. So we have two in front of me. These are um, a fixed three times magnification with 30 mil optic, and then a three to nine times magnification with a 40 mil optic. Um, other than that, they're the same. They have the rubberized armor coating on the outside of them. Uh, they have the illumination on them. So this one is, I believe, a dual illumination. They're both dual illumination, yeah. Red and green. They both have the uh, the P4 sniper reticle. Probably should have looked at the box before I did this. Yeah, P4 sniper reticle. Uh, and then red and green between one and five, so for brightnesses. Uh, the difference between these two, well, I guess there's a couple that we talked about already. Lens size and magnification. But the big, big difference other than those three or two things would be this one has what they call the BDC, the bullet drop compensation dial to it. So uh, this one has windage and elevation adjustments, which you can you can do, but this one has um, windage and elevation. So uh, let me rephrase that. Well, it does have windage and elevation, but it has the ability to change elevation in large increments based on a pre-known distance that you are shooting. So if you are shooting at X amount of yards, you can change this whole thing at the top to account for bullet drop over that distance. And then the top of it comes off and you can fine tune the adjustment through there. So it's got preset basically levels uh, for distance to accommodate the bullet drop as it's traveling over those distances. So it makes it a little bit easier to set up in theory, but giving you one more option to play around with can actually make it a little more difficult to set things up as well if you don't know what you're doing. So uh, these ones, you can pull this one off and you can see I adjusted it with my hands. I didn't need a key or a screwdriver or a coin or anything to adjust it. Both of these are thumb adjustable when you take the covers off. These ones, I'm pretty sure both need a coin. Yep, need a coin for that one. And let's check this one as well. This is our elevation adjustment. Yes, coin or screwdriver for that one as well. So no on the fly adjustments, you will need to have a tool for it as well. Uh, flip up covers on both, which are removable. So you can pop those things up like that. And then um, like I said, dual illumination, P4 sniper reticle, red and green from one to five as far as brightness goes. And they are armor, uh, rubberized armor coated. So if you happen to be real rough on your scope sights or just guns in general, you might wanna look at getting in one of these. They do come with scope rings right here. And then put the large one on. I like the way that one looks. We'll take out one scope ring here. Let's move this one out of the way. Set that right there, I think. Mm. Yeah, on the back. I like, looks like it gives it a little more support on that side. I'm gonna loosely tighten these up. That way I can still rotate my scope on the inside. Should I set this up and I realize that it's all cattywampus and doesn't uh, doesn't line up right. So let's get that on there. Drop that. That's just a thumb nut to put that on. And obviously you're going to use both when you set it up. Don't do it like I did and just put one on there. All right, and you can see I've got plenty of movements here, so I can still move that around. That looks about right. Tight on there. Looks good. This would actually sit up a little bit higher if I had the front scope ring on it right here. It's kind of dipping down right now just because I don't have that extra support on there. But it's a good looking scope. It's got uh, this one has the the bullet drop compensation on it. Three to time three to nine times magnification, dual illumination reticle. 
uh, 40 millimeter optic. The other one, basically the same size and length, just a little bit shorter, but this is a, a static three times magnification 30 mil optic, but still has the dual illumination reticle, just does not have the bullet drop compensation uh, adjustment to it. So um, if you like the way these look, rubberized coatings, they're gonna save a lot of things. Check them out on the website, order yours now through ansgear.com.